Alright guys, welcome to your 32nd tutorial in Ruby and in this tutorial, now that we know how to make a hash, I'm going to show you guys some cool methods that we can use when working with hashes. So if you missed the last tutorial, what we did is we pretty much created a quick hash, let me just go ahead and print this out on the screen, and it pretty much says Bucky is the coolest guy ever, Emma is a very nice gal, Emma Roberts that is, and Peter is some guy from Family Guy. Simple enough, but what if we want to loop through the entire list of hashes and we want to do something cool with it? Well, we can use that loop that we kind of learned before, that each loop where we can store each of the keys and values and variables and then do something with them. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Example each. Now as a parameter for this, what we're going to do is we're going to store the keys and the values in separate variables. And in order to do that, put them in between pipe symbols, what I say, symbols, yeah that's where it is, isn't it? Signal, symbols, tomato, tomato, put them in between the pipe signs and go ahead and hit A, comma, B. Now you can name your variables anything you want, but A and B is pretty self-explanatory. So now after that, what it's going to do is it's going to loop through your hash and every time it gets to a key and a value it's going to store the key in A which would be Bucky in the first case and a cool guy ever in B in the first instance and then it's going to run your code so what do we want to do for the code well if we're running through like a numerical um, list we can add them together if we we're at it running through a text list um, I don't know let's just go ahead and print it on the screen so puts a plus B what this is going to do is pretty much print out the stuff on the screen each one on a new line so go ahead and hit enter and check it out Bucky coolest guy ever and it prints them out touching because if you notice whenever I created in my hash there was no space between the first um, key and the value so that's why it puts them together but anyways it doesn't matter Bucky coolest guy ever then it puts Emma very nice gal then it puts Peter family guy dude so basically what this does is it loops through your list and it prints out both the key and value right after each other so that's one way that you can pretty much loop through your list of hashes and do whatever you want another cool thing I want to show you guys is what if you want to look at all the keys without the values well we already know how to look at the values when you ever go ahead and put print example Emma what this does is it prints out the value of Emma very nice gal but what if we only want to look at the keys in our hash so let's go ahead and show you how to do that put example which is the name of the hash and keys now go ahead and hit enter and check it out Bucky Emma and Peter that is how you only get the keyword or the first term of your hash now the last thing I want to show you guys is this we already know how to create in a hash but what if we want to go back and delete something from this hash for example if we go ahead and puts example right now it prints out our hash and our hash has Bucky Emma and Peter in it but then our boss comes in and he's like you know what this is looking like a pretty sweet I don't know what the heck this program is a people identifier maybe but Emma she needs to go she no longer works for this company delete her from the hash so how do we do that go ahead and type the name of your hash which is example delete and you have to spell it right d-e-l-e-t-e -E -E. that's how you spell delete boom, boom. and in between parentheses go ahead and type did I get that right there you go go ahead and type the key of your hash which is in this case Emma so this pretty much means we want to delete Emma from this hash go ahead and hit enter and it gives us this little prompt very nice gal but we don't believe it we want to make sure that it's deleted so in order to make sure it's deleted go ahead and puts example hit enter and we now see that our new hash new and improved without Emma Bucky and Peter the toolet two coolest guys in the world not the two tooliest guys in the world so anyways there you go there is how you work with hashes in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys well you know I'm not gonna spoil it but it's gonna be awesome so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video